on a bet. Now that is. Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Live the Sox now. We are back. This is our episode of the Sock Mob, our panel discussion where we talk about all sorts of topics that we think you're interested in. Some light, some heavy, um, but all very interesting. So today I, I want to reintroduce you to everybody. This is Jonita, my Yay! good friend, the singing diva sings all over the world at every little opera house you can think of. She sang there. This is RJ. What up, RJ? So, uh, and then we have G, uh, and we make up the sock mob. I'm Jimmy Lee Lard, of course, you know. Um, so, you I have a, a sex question. Voice? I do have a sex voice okay, sometimes, sexy see. Oh. I'm Jimmy Lee Lard. Okay, so, um, I want to know, I want to ask you guys about a word that um, can be a little controversial, and that is the word nigger or nigger or however you want to say it. Um, Jennifer, we, <laughs> <is it? laughs> no, so I want is it you know a lot of there are a lot of black people who accept the term and use it and consider it a term of endearment, but there are a lot of people who say, No, you're not gonna call me that, and we have people who fought and died not to be called that. So, so what do you think, Janita? Do you use the word I'm first? Yes, opera diva. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I grew up hearing it. I hearing it hearing or it. saying it? No, I grew up hearing it. Okay. When I was grown, I said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think it means different things in different contexts. Okay, yeah. Um, amongst us, right here, this group, I think it would mean one thing. Whereas if there was someone else of another hue, another ethnicity, that was among us and used it, it would mean a different thing. Mm -hmm. um, you, that, that's always funny to me. You ever hear um, people get mad because they can't say it. I, I don't see why you can say it and I can't. Why do you want to say it? <laughs> that's what I want to know. But. Well, you always want what you can't have. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Um, RJ? Nigga. <laughs> so I guess you use it. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it took me a while to get comfortable, but mm -hmm. anything you learn through research and understanding, niggas originally is derived from the Ethiopian language, which means king. Meaning royal to the N-E-G-U-S spelling. Okay. But you, they, we spell it N-I-G-G-E-R, N-I-G-G-A-H. You know what I'm saying? But when you break it all the way down, and, and anything they teach you, you go all the way back to the beginning of it. You know, but that's, I mean, that's good to know that. But unfortunately, so many people don't go back to the origins. And they don't and know, but it's, I think it's something that stays with us, embedded in us, that it's like, almost like they, they, they gave us this word and used it in the derogatory terms, mm -hmm. but unbeknownst to them, or maybe some of them did know. Maybe they were calling us really royalty. And they said, we go, we go take, no, 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 oh, cool. no, 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 <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Unbeknownst, <laughs> unbeknownst to them, because they didn't know either. Where did the word originally come from? Besides the, the niggas part. Where did the niggas come in? And when, when you break it all down, it also means ignorance. So do we take on, if I'm a nigga, I'm ignorant? Or is a, being a nigga an ignorant person, period? Versus being niggas, which means royalty in the Ethiopian language, which means like, nigga, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but even that being said, we have this term that for at least the last hundred, a couple hundred, few hundred years of our mm. history has not been used to call us kings. <laughs> no, no, no <laughs> so, it has not. So from most people's perspective, that's not what it was, that's not what it meant. So now, how then do you turn around and use it as if it's just like saying, my bro, my, my boy, my homie, well, my that, nigga. You know what, and I, and I asked some, some teens this, and their, were, their thing was, we took what was given to us and we flipped it. Like during time of slavery. We didn't get, we had the best of nothing. 
We took what we what we had. So we so was that it. the same for you? You said you asked some teens. You were a teen. I knew you as right. a teen. That's what so I'm saying. It, so when you were using it, long was time ago. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you know what? And I I had a I had a really good friend, and and nigga just would roll over her mouth like like nothing else. Was this a white, black, or what friend? Mixed. Mixed. So <laughs> <laughs> a little a, 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 a little Oh, oh. Uh, a really good, a really good friend, friend Who lives in Texas now? <laughs> like, <laughs> we call the folk out. Who used what? to cut my hair and draft it? <laughs> nigga! Yes! Now that was some nigga shit right there, for real. <laughs> Honestly. See, so would you say that was some ignorant shit? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully she comment on this video. <laughs> So we didn't know who she is. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we Hey by the way. <laughs> we're not gonna call you out. We're not gonna call you out. Right. Drop a comment. But, Let us know who you are. But I mean, but and when you think about this action the next generation, it's like they gave it to us, they 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 made it derogatory, but we're taking control of it back. We're taking we're taking it back and saying, you know what, that's my nigga, you know. It is yeah. what it is what it is. And I think that's what you, I think most people who use the word, and it took a long time for me. I'm like you. Me too. A very long, I was very much an adult before I ever said it. Um, no, and I me. wouldn't let, um, same me. with you. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean because she was saying she was, wasn't comfortable with it. Um, and, and that's how it was. I would not let my younger siblings say it. And they, when they would slip and sit around me, they just knew they were about to get caught. It was like, <laughs> like a cuss word. Right, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it took years for me to get comfortable uh, with it. But what, are your, what is your take on it, G? Pretty much the same. I mean, <laughs> I, I wasn't, I didn't hear it growing up. And when I did hear it, it was like a curse word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you didn't say it. And it was, it was definitely not my go-to cuss word. I, I had that. I had a couple other cuss words that would come before that, but it wasn't something that I heard a lot um, growing up, especially like, you know, with my, my mom or my dad, I, I just didn't hear that word. And um, I was, I can't even really remember. I would say probably teenage years, definitely teenage yeah. years. I can't like pinpoint the area in my life where I started using it, but I know 12, 13, 14, around that age, when um, and I was introduced <laughs> to my first uh, rap, rap CD. CD? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, my, my first tape. Right. <laughs> you know, old too. Right. <laughs> my first tape was The Chronic, and um, yeah, my, yeah. Mama, my mom went a long time keeping us sheltered and uh, or uh, at the car wash for four dollars <laughs> and get that bootleg whoa, Dr. Whoa, Dre. Whoa, oh yeah. Whoa. Man. <laughs> <at> the car <laughs> <wash it. laughs> so, okay. Uh, um, and then he goes into that like that word like um a bitch. That that's what you that's I had exactly what I was about in to college, ask. It's really bitch. good friend of mine right now. You know, and it was like bitch. She stopped me in my tracks right there. She said, I don't play them type of games. We ain't never had that type of no, but she'll use a nigga out of this world. <laughs> but don't don't do the bitch. But then I have friends who, you know, it's cool. What's up, bitch, my? You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you it, but, but you know, but if you stop people in the church, like that's something you don't do. Most of the time, you know, you'll be respected and you'll yeah, be like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. we friends, but you know, we just don't 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 call each what other. What about you and your circle of girlfriends? Do nah, you nah, nah. call it hey bitch? No, you know that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Uh -uh. Sorry. Not yeah. sorry. Uh no, that's just not a term of endearment to me. If I'm about to beat your ass, then you're a bitch. Yeah. You know. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, but, but no. Well, I but no, it's it's not a term of endearment for me. It's it's not. Um, I mean, I grew up knowing that it was a female dog. Mm -hmm. um, but. In most contexts that you heard it in, it was not it was used not, as a right. female dog, but it was used in a derogatory sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so no, that one didn't permeate unless it was meant derogatorily. Yeah. What about other terms? Um, fag, dyke, and all the work you hear faggot everything. Uh, that's fag, or you cut somebody off in traffic. 
Fucking man, faggot. He's faggot. You know what? You know what I mean. So, yeah. but at the same time, I can tell you there are a lot of gay boys who fag. use the word fag left and right. You know, and then there. So, but you know what? I think that's with, sort of like the same context. When it comes nigga. to nigga, it's this, it's our social circle. This is my friend. Right, right, right. You a fag? I'm a fag. We a fag. Let's be fag. <laughs> Would you like to be up mm -mm, too? <laughs> yeah. I hate that word dyke though. Yes. That just says. But I don't dyke. think oh. and, and but I don't think dyke is used like most nah, lesbians don't city, say. Like, no, what up, dyke? dyke. Right, right, right. Yeah, that was like ninety-nine percent <laughs> derogatory. Right. right. Like, yeah. There is no nobody <laughs> accepts that as a term of environment, you know. Now, isn't is there right. anything? I mean, we have studs, How is and but male? that was it's never a derogatory right. term, though. You right. know what I mean? So, I, I think to sum it all up, um, words have it definitely holds a lot of energy. Words are powerful. Words have power, be, yes. and um, it, it's two things that I look at with as far as words is, of course, the person that's saying it mm -hmm. and their intent. Yeah. behind this word you know you can say you know just as all of you said you can say these words and have your intent is just all up you know i'm with my my homie or whatever and i'm calling him a nigga then it's love you, you know can just call you a him <laughs> oh stop he said but, i'm with my homie but he doing this for you and shit because <laughs> shit is next to him oh my bad so don't worry i get calling him a lot <laughs> But you know what? This reminds me of something that my dad taught me. Daddy Joe. Daddy. He taught me, he said, if I call you a tree, mm -hmm. are you a tree? Ain't about no. what they call you. It's what you ask them to. You know, because uh -oh. I got, you know, I, I was teased as a young little girl. And I come home crying. And they called me this and they called me that. And he told me, he said, if I call you a tree, does that make you a tree? I said, no. But a tree doesn't mean no. You're allowing yeah. something to be more powerful than what it can yeah. be. And You're it, giving it power. That's yeah. that's the second half. That's the second half. The first <laughs> half is the intent behind yeah. with the person that's saying it, and the second half is the person that's receiving it. Yeah. If somebody walked in here and said somebody that we all know and we're all comfortable with and said all of these offensive words, and you know we don't take it seriously, you know, it's not a big deal. Words don't hurt unless somebody in the room is offended by it. Yeah. They're so, just words. You go into a room full of racist <laughs> white folks and say a bunch of, you know, racist slants about blacks and Latinos and all this stuff, nobody's going to get offended. So are these bad, are these words hurting anybody? No, yeah. not in this room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that intent hateful? Yes, it is. So I guess. But the, it, work, it works both ways. That's so the balance between. For the person who's speaking it, then you just kind of have to know your audience. It's like know. you do. If you want and, to the, and the person that's receiving it also, yeah. you you can control whether it's offensive to you or not. <coughs> Before, there's some words that would be offensive to me, and that are not now. And some words that I used back in the day, you know, was offensive to other people. I'm sure that I don't use anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it, but, it, if, if, for example, if you walking down the street and a bum who laying on the street, like you faggot ass bastard, you will probably the bum stop. gonna get his no, ass. No, no, I don't know. No, that's what I'm saying. Not I don't, you, I don't but know. But you, you, you that's what I'm saying. But you would look at me, probably be laughing like, what? Right, you, you don't even, right, you don't know, even me. know me, right? You right? Don't that's know what I'm saying. Me. But if you somebody a certain like. You faggot ass nigga who wouldn't say it would probably it be hurts. something yeah. something like, different. That motherfucker you know me. You know what I'm saying? You call me like that. Versus this bum, you be like. And like you know that, that, you're in a circle of people that know you and you know them and then mm -hmm. there's that ooh, that judgment factor comes into that yeah. are you gonna let him or her say that to you yeah. are you gonna take that you know so yeah. then the pump thing comes up yeah i mean if you allow that and jesse Absolutely. and james and raise no pumps <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> 
thank you all. Uh, another good episode. I appreciate it. So yeah, I guess you have to know your audience. You have to understand what you're saying as you say it, and make sure that you're just not being offensive to people. I think is the bottom line and the gist and just, of it. And, you and these words, with, it, sure within yourself. Yeah, and you and for people who hear it, so. you know, and you know, some some of them are truly terms of endearment. They're things we struggled through, and then we took ownership of it, and it's ours yeah. now. So. Don't be a nigger. Don't don't be a nigger. <laughs> but I can be a nigger. Ah. <laughs> All right. A nigger. <laughs> Everybody, tell us what Just you think. Nigger. Comment down below. What do you think about the word nigger, nigger, dyke, fag, bitch? All of these nasty words. God. <laughs> Good night. I'm Jimmy Lee Lock, the Sock Snob. This is the Sock Mob. Check us out on the website, therealsocksnob.com, or on Instagram, therealsocksnob. All right, we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>《I wanted to put together a group that could talk about anything》we, we get our news from Facebook we you know, you know what I'm saying it's that type from extremely serious to well <laughs> So I put together a group that's made up of gay, straight, married, single, divorced, blue collar, and white collar. I wanted everybody to be represented. Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sock Snob. <laughs> Actually, I'm Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sock Snob, and this is the Sock Mob. Please join us every Tuesday and Thursday for new episodes by searching The Sock Mob on YouTube or log on to TheRealSockSnob.com.